Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we visited the ancient abandoned hospital, met a new vampire type, who one who feeds on flesh rather than just blood, and unfortunately in order to protect the masquerade, we kinda had to send the guy who managed to escape back to his doom by lying to him. So, yeah, we did that second time we've accidentally sent someone to their doom for the sake of a vampire but it's Halloween ooky spooky things happen it's like a horror movie y yay okay by the way we're looking into the plague bear problem now and we went to this apartment and we found an answering machine of a girl who got sick as well from this guy who is very dead he's he's dead Jim so we're going to go investigate her apartment and see what's up. But first I'm going to ransack his place to see if it has any stuff. I don't think he, it does, but it's worth a try, right? Worth a try. Okay. Ooh, blood stain on the ground there. Can move his chairs. Interesting. Okay. Nothing there. Don't think there's anything on the floor I can pick up. Doesn't look like it. Anything in here? No. Just a trash can that I can pick up. Alright. So, nothing there, really. So, let us go to Patty's apartment. Well, not Patty, but Hannah. She was the one who got sick from visiting him. I believe he was a ghoul. Okay, we're on the fifth floor. I believe she's on the sixth floor. And we have the code to her place as well. Yep, here we go. One, two, zero, three. Simple as that. The atmosphere is tense. No answering machine. Can't get into the fridge. Doesn't look like there's anything here to mess with. What about in here? Nope, nothing. So we're just gonna open that door both ways. Because doors work totally like that. <laughs> She's got a desk over here with a very pushable chair. Nothing else. So let's. Paul. Oh hey. Hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> I'm a friend of Paul's. He wanted. He just wanted me to come and check up on you. He did. <laughs> That's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? Yeah, yeah, sure. You sound pretty sick, Hannah. What have you got? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I'm taking all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. I can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. Sounds pretty bad. Where'd you get it? Well, I think I got sick from one of <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. Who was this client? She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. What can you tell me about this woman? <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Was there anything else strange about her? Anything at all? Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up. 
up the next morning. <coughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <coughs> Where did you meet her, Hannah? Where is Jezebel Locke? She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? Paul's just fine, Hannah. Don't worry about him. <coughs> Good. He, he's a nice guy. <coughs> I hope he calls me again sometime. I'm sure he will, Hannah. I hope so. I really do. Rest in peace, Hannah. I'll go and take care of Jezebel Locke. Now, I don't know if I just mercy killed her, because she just took damage. I regained some of my humanity as a result, though, so... It could have been a mercy killing. I've never actually been able to figure out if she just dies from being sick, or if, like... Oh, hey, there's a book right here. An appointment book. Arthur Kilpatrick, Vandal C, David Hatter, Simon McGone, Paul Anderson, Jezebel Locke, and there we go. Yeah. So if you haven't pieced together, she was a hooker. She's got a safe right here. Let's see if I can't. Yes, I can. Well, she's not going to need that money anymore. So there we go. Gone and gone. So, Jezebel Locke is at the Empire Arms Hotel. So she is the next clue we have in this ooky spooky Scooby Doo mystery of who's spreading plague in downtown Los Angeles. But hey, we got a crap ton of money. 2,377 bucks. That is quite a lot. Long ass elevator ride. But hey, if I tried to go the sneaky route, I would just might get shot again. Because this guy's got a friggin' itchy trigger finger as hell. And he's apparently coughing like crazy. Oh. Well, hopefully, I didn't get whatever he has. That'd be bad, yo. Although I don't think you can uh, become a plague bearer in this game. I don't think that's possible. It could just be that he's coughing because, well, reasons. All right, maybe this guy will talk to us now. Yes, may I help you? Is there a guest here named Jezebel Locke? Yes, Miss Locke is one of our more um, popular guess. Why do you ask? I need a key to her room. I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. I'm an old friend of hers on a surprise visit. I see. Well, in that case, perhaps I can make an exception. Here's the key to her suite. Have a nice evening. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, got your key. Now I'm coming for you. Now, I do believe... Right. Fun with pestilence. Okay. Her key will probably... Ah, it's not gonna tell me anything. Ah! Jerk, you didn't tell me which room was hers. Open the ground floor door, please. Now I'm gonna have to go into your computer and find specifically which room is hers. Jerk. Okay. Sweets. Yeah, yeah, wealth. Okay. Brooklyn Sweet. Jezebel Lock, fifth floor. Thank you. Let's try the guest logs as well. Okay, she's not even in here. Home. Quit. Okay, she's on the fifth floor.
I was not about to go up to the very top and then be wrong. Okay. Number five, please. That was fast. Okay. Fifth floor. Here we go. There's the door with the lock on it. And here's where Jezebel locked. Oh, yeah. Who do we have here? Are you a believer, little morsel? Have you come to the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? I take it you're Jezebel Locke? Yes, I am Jezebel. And I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? What the hell is going on around here? Or no, you are strangely attractive. Oh, come on now. I'm gonna see if I can Don't deny seduce her. The pleasure of Jezebel's talents. Just a few more steps, and we can be enveloped by the sweet darkness, become slaves to the desires of our wasted flesh. Sorry, forgot my Jimmy hat. Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the night circle, and I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Okay, so I can end up dead like Hannah and her friends? Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? You're sick, pure and simple. Time to put you out of your misery. Thank you for just ultimately goofing up on me. Oh, you've got a knife, huh? Well, I've got a sword. I got a masquerade redemption for that. Oh, hey, there's a book. Don't know what book I just picked up. Items gained. No means no. Except I don't have a high enough research skill for that. So, let's increase scholarship. Because apparently, or no, what else would increase research? Intelligence. Let's go ahead and put... Ah, don't have enough to increase it further. Okay, put one in, in there and accept. Now let's read that book. This is... In oh, can't use it because our brawl ability needs at least two. Ah. Jerks. Okay. Well, once my research is set to six... Then we'll find out more. I don't have any plans on increasing brawl, though, to be honest. Fist fighting is... Well, I don't... My character doesn't have a point in fist fighting. Okay, no, that's grabbable. Okay. Oh, well, that's done. Let's get out of here. Jezebel's dead. Report back to Damsel. Now we've got actually one more thing to do before we report to Damsel. See, we just took out Jezebel Locke. That's true. That happened. But if you remember, we've also got one other lead to go through. See, Jezebel Locke was talking about prostitutes, but a number of the homeless people have been experiencing it too. So you can accidentally turn this quest in early. So, going to go back to the last round. Not necessarily go in the last round. Hold on, before I do that, I'm going to go into the club, see if I can't get paid, and then see about, you know, topping off my blood.
There you are. I was beginning to think you ditched me. You know what I need, and I need it. Give me some blood, blah. Okay, there we go. Always cutting it just a little close. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another wad for you. Okay. One, two, three, stop, people! Alright, cool. That was a waste of, oh, well, almost a waste of time, really. I swear. You do get more money than $250, and it does pay you back. I promise. I would buy something from Fat Larry, but I don't want him to accost me again with his unusual wares. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know what you want. I'm not going to the Elizabeth Dane just yet. Not happening. There's still stuff to do here. Fun, important stuff. Okay. So let's see. Don't get all crazy, man. That guy went into like action mode for some reason. Okay. So we want to try and find a homeless people to talk to. Like this one. What? Get away from me! Leave me alone! I just need to ask about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? But you're not gonna get them. Just get away! Calm down, sweetheart. You know, I've always been attracted to older women. Oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where is this Tin Can Bill? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Thanks. See ya. See? Just like that. We're not quite done. See, we could have just reported that Jezebel Locke was responsible. But she's not. Okay, none of those are Tin Can Bill. So this must be him. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. It's not Fred, Bill. Uh, I heard that you can tell me why everyone's getting sick. Yeah, I might be able to. <coughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Would you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Sure, here's five bucks. <laughs> Thank you, <much. laughs> Some <laughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. It's all right. I'll believe you, Bill. It's a monster, you see. Monster in his face all twisted. So what happened? He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh God, the smell, worse than anything I've And then he bit me, my neck. Oh God, it was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Bill, I need to know where the monster took you. Came up through the sewers he did. Just around the 
around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back in that place again. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> Bill, stay with me. Everything's going to be all right. Don't worry, Bill. Someone's going to pay for this. And so he died from the sickness, for sure. Unfortunately, guys, it looks like that's about all the time we have right now. Hope you're enjoying this uh, plaguish mystery, but we've got another uh, bad guy to put down and solve the masquerade. Hope you're having fun, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care for now. Bye-bye.